This is Bosque de Apache National Wildlife Refuge, known for its sandhill cranes and abundant waterfowl. In the quieter parts of the reserve are some of the last known habitats for the New Mexico jumping mouse. Here, U.S. Fish and Wildlife manages habitat for a population of mice roughly the size of your extended family. Hart checks trail cameras to monitor mouse abundance. Where seasonal floods created plenty of mouse habitat, now in the age of dams, biologists mimic floods with irrigation systems and tractors to foster suitable plants for mouse food and shelter. In which we don't see um, the historic flood regime anymore, the disturbance regime that we, that we uh, historically observed in the springtime and during monsoonal uh, rain events and pulses through, through the Rio Grande that created the disturbance that we feel is necessary uh, for the jumping mouse that would, um, after a, such a disturbance, would set the uh, secessional plant community stage back, um, which is what this species really uh, is tied into, the early uh, herbaceous plant community rather than a woody uh, tree type based uh, later successional stage plant community. This is a good uh, example of what I do here on this refuge is this is what I try to manage to grow and the uh, majority of the plants here that we're growing, uh, millet, you can see some of the, the nice heads of, of millet seed growing, uh, sprangle top and fall panicum. Uh, Amidst the many species and habitats at the refuge, managing can be a balancing act. So what we want to do is try to maintain mouse habitat, but once the mouse habitat, you know, gets overgrown with willows and stuff, it can be inhabited by the southwestern willow flycatcher as well. And then once that happens, then we kind of lose that habitat for the mouse. 